I see it in the comment section all the time. I get the question, can I put a pot on my blackstone? Yes, you can. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a fantastic black bean soup with kind of my little take on taquenos. This is a really, really fun, dippable dinner. Let me show you how to do it. To kick this dish off, we are gonna start with our bacon. Now today I'm using some Wright's thick cut bacon. And I'm gonna take the whole, the whole pack here. We're not using the whole pack, but I do want to pull the whole pack out. Now we're going to do something called lardons. What a lardon is, is where we take our knife and we're basically cutting across each strip of bacon to give us nice large chunks. You can call them bacon chunks if you want them. So CJ would call them bacon chunks. I'm going to call it a the large bacon The technical term bit. is a lardon. It's a French term. So we're going to put that into a pan over medium high, high heat on our blackstone and let that start to render out. Now what we're gonna get is these crispy, gorgeous little bits of bacon, but more importantly, we're gonna get all of that beautiful rendered bacon fat. This can take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how much you're gonna do, but you wanna make sure you get that bacon nice and crispy. Once it's all finished, uh, go ahead and pull it out and put it on a paper towel to drain a bit, but keep all of that gorgeous bacon fat. While that's cooking, let's go ahead and get to our vegetables. I'm gonna start with some celery. We're gonna cut that up pretty small. Now we are gonna use a burr mixer. I'll tell you about what that is in a second. Uh, so the, the cuts don't have to be perfect. Your knife skills don't have to be flawless. Chop up all of our celery. Now let's move on to some carrots. Same thing, just nice and small. We want a decent amount of surface area, but your technique doesn't have to be pristine. Uh, let's move on to a bit of yellow onion. We'll do about half of a yellow onion. Same thing, we're gonna dice that up nice and small. And now I'm gonna take a bit of my green onion, but I'm only gonna use the little bits of the whites. The whites have the most flavor, but the least amount of color. I'm gonna save the green parts for garnish later. Add all of those gorgeous vegetables right to that bubbly bacon fat. And I'll stir this around a good bit. I also have some garlic. I'm gonna add some garlic to this as well. All of these flavors together, cooking in the bacon fat, amplify the flavors of each. So when we talk about compounding flavors, the sweetness of everything gets sweeter, which is gonna be a fun play on all the savory flavors that we're gonna add in just a bit. Let's cook that for four or five minutes or so. Then we're gonna add one of our cans of black beans. Now let this stew for five to six minutes or so. Uh, we're gonna add some of our seasonings as well. Let's go ahead and add some cumin, a decent amount of cumin. We're gonna add a bit of chili powder and also some chipotle. Leave this out if you don't like the heat, uh, but I like the heat, so I'm gonna keep it in there. Uh, you can also add some salt and pepper, definitely add salt and pepper at this point and stir everything together. Let it cook for five to six minutes before moving on to the next step. All right, now for the fun part. Now, if you don't know, it's fun to have tools that are fun tools, right CJ? Exactly. Fun tools, lots of tools. This is a burr mixer or an immersion blender. And basically it has, I'll turn it to you CJ. It's got a blade at the end. Some people call it a wand mixer. Hey handsome. <laughs> you got dirt in your boot? Yeah. You all right? Yeah. You want some black bean soup in a minute? Yeah. Okay. Love you, bye. It's got a blade at the end right there. Some people call it a wand mixer. But you basically pull your little trigger in, we get a blending action at the bottom so we can stir. So uh, CJ, I'm gonna cruise over here. You know what I wanna do first? I'm gonna grab a touch of chicken stock. Um, this is gonna help us kind of blend all those flavors together and give us a touch more liquid to blend. Once we start blending the, the black beans, it'll start to thicken up considerably. All right, let's grab our immersion blender or our burr mixer. We're gonna go right in. It's gonna blend all of those beans together and give us a gorgeous texture and it's gonna incorporate all of those ingredients that we spent so much time elevating and, and adding so much roasty flavors to all the vegetables. That is looking fantastic. Let's slide that over to the cooler side of our griddle, let it cool down just a bit. It is screaming hot at the moment. Let's talk about our accoutrement or what's gonna go with our beautiful black bean soup. I'm gonna basically make a, taquenos are a little bit different. In Venezuela what they have is, it's kinda of like a, like a tortilla-ish, right? It's way more difficult. This is way easier. We're gonna take a flour tortilla. Let's uh, sprinkle just a little bit of cheese, shredded cheese over that. And we're gonna add some of our carne asada seasoning over the top and just roll it up in a nice little bundle. It's basically like a little tiny burrito or taquito. 
Uh, now let's put that on our griddle and let that toast up on all sides so the cheese gets really melty and that tortilla gets a little crisp. Uh, you can flatten them out if you like. You just want them to stay together nice. Add a little bit of oil if you need to. What we're looking for is dippers, little gorgeous cheesy tortilla dippers. Oh yeah. Now what I like to do with these is just kind of cut them on the bias a little bit. So I'm gonna do all of them at the same time, at the same length, I'll kind of go like that and do a move like that. Decent move, bro. So what we got is that, can you see that? Get there. Tons of fun, right? Yeah, tons of fun. Beautiful. Now let's just put, let me grab a plate actually. We'll go ahead and plate these up over here. So when we serve these, we have a lovely little arrangement. Feel good about that. All right, let's leave that there for a second. Let's get to our garnish. Now I have an avocado. When you're picking out your avocado, you wanna make sure it has a little bit of weight to it. Like you don't want it to be ready for guacamole. You want it to be slightly on the unripe side. Let's cut it in half and then we're gonna make beautiful little fans. Uh, this is by using our knife and making long, beautiful strips. I'm also gonna take some of that gorgeous green onion, slice it nice and thin for our garnish. This color's really gonna pop on that black bean soup. Speaking of black bean soup, grab a bowl and a ladle because it is time. My friends, fill that bowl up. Uh, let's go ahead and add our garnish. I wanna start with a little bit of that avocado right in the center, a little bit of sour cream, and don't you think I forgot about those stunning lardons of bacon. Add that over the top, uh, green onions, the avocado, the sour cream, the bacon, the little dippers. This whole thing is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Let's take a bite. Ooh, wow. So some of those beans. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Some of the beans we added after the burr mixer, so they still have their integrity, their shape. Um, the soup by itself is fantastic. I was just talking to CJ off camera. If you wanted to turn this into a dip, add some um, cream cheese instead of the stock, and then you've got a wicked dip. But our dipper, speaking of dippers, so look at this little guy that we made right here. Just give it a little dip, beautiful accompaniment. Delicious, inexpensive, and really, really fun to do. Your family's gonna love it, my family loves it. Actually, where's, is your rice still around here? Yeah. Oh, you wanna bite? Yeah. Come here. You want a dipper, or do you want to eat it with a spoon? Dipper. A dipper, we'll grab one. Can you reach? Oh, can I get one too? Yeah. So, dipper, cheers. Cheers. What do you think? Money? Mm-hmm. Tell them, at home. Thank you. Well, I made it. You're welcome, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> See what happens? See what happens? All right, love you, bye. See ya. So this one really is fun, simple to do. You don't need a ton of crazy ingredients, just a little bit of technique, maybe a fun tool or two. Just one, the burr mixer, that's all you need. Uh, thank you for hanging out and watching. This is a fun one. Be sure to check out Betty's show. Check out Todd's show, CJ's show, Bruce's show, Destination Delicious, but this is Cook, Eat, Repeat, where we help you become a better cook one recipe at a time. I'm your host, Chef Nathan Lippy, and I will see you guys.